Hi there, this is just a quick video on how to find the diameter or the radius of a circle, but your question has given you the area. So you know the area of the circle and you're supposed to work backwards and find the diameter or the radius of the circle. Now as far as all those words, diameter, radius, area, etc., and the formula itself, I recommend watching a previous video um, on how to find the area of a circle, first of all. And if you want to learn what pi is, I even have a video on how pi was developed. But for now, let's just say what we're looking for is they're going to give us the area of the circle, this whole inside area, and we're supposed to come up with what is the diameter or the radius. Remember the radius is half of the diameter. So let's look at a question right here. What is the diameter of a circle with an area of 240 centimeters squared. Remember the squared is used as a symbol when we're talking about area. Okay, it could be inches squared, feet squared, meters squared, and so on. So let us first start by writing down the formula. So the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay. Now in this case they gave us the area is 240 centimeters squared. So what we're going to do, let me get rid of that little advertisement there, 240 and what we're going to do is we remember pi is 3.14. Please watch previous videos if you forgot that. I don't mean to spring that on you now. And over here we have r squared. So what we're going to have to do is figure out r squared what r is based on all this information that we know. Now if you've watched videos on algebra, you'll know to get rid of something, to get a variable like r all by itself, we want to get rid of the 3.14 from this side. So we're going to divide both sides by exactly that. 3.14 divide this side by 3.14 and we're left with, well, when you take something and divide it by the exact same thing, you're left with just one. So r squared is all by itself with the invisible one there and 240 divided by 3.14. I'd like to figure that out. I'm going to use a calculator. I'm sure you'll be allowed to in your class too. So 240 divided by 3.14 and we are left with, let's round it off, 76.4. We're going to round that off to 76 Point four. Now, this is not the diameter of the circle at all yet. In fact, this is the radius squared. Now, in algebra, as we've learned in the past, to get rid of this squared, to get rid of this, we have to do the opposite of squaring, and that is square root. So what we're going to do is take the square root of both sides. That will give us the radius. r is equal to 76.4. We have to take our calculator again and take the square root, let's see, where's the square root button here? There it is. I think on this calculator you have to do it the other way around. Type in 76.4, then hit square root. There it is. 8.7, I'm going to round it off to 8.7 or 8 decimal 7. This is the radius. Now, that is really the answer right down here. It says, what is the radius? Well, it's 8.7 centimeters. The question said, what is the diameter, though? So if you know the radius, um, all you have to do is take your answer, 8.7, and the more decimals you use, the better, but I'm just going to, whoops, the more decimals you use, the better, but I'm just going to go 8.7 times 2, and it's 17.4. So the diameter of this is 17.4 centimeters, which is double the radius right there. And that's how you deal with a situation where they give you the area and they ask for something like the diameter or the radius. Okay. If you have a situation where they give you the circumference, that is another video I just recently made and I recommend you watch that one separately so that this video doesn't have to be so long. Okay, I hope you had
a good time. I hope you understood what I was talking about here, and I hope you have a good day. Take care.